So Anonymous is an online protest movement that is most identified with online activism and computer hackers. And it, it is certainly the case that, first of all, many of their most prominent participants are hackers, though it's a, it's a much larger movement that attracts all sorts of folks with and without technical uh, background. And their most famous operations sometimes have been linked to such activities as computer hacking, or distributed denial of service attacks where you overwhelm the server with too many requests. But Anonymous is interesting because at a certain point they, they pivoted away from simply internet issues in 2011 and started to forge ties with social movements generally and specific activists working in those social movements. And the turning point for that pivot was when they got involved in Tunisia where there had been uh, street protests over the kind of dire economic situation in the country and, and also protesting the, the dictator. And some folks from Tunisia, some geeks, had found Anonymous Online and kind of act, asked them to get involved, and they did. And this was a big turning point because up to that point, Anonymous was just so identified with the internet. And then it became clear that they could engage and contribute to social and political causes that had nothing to do with the internet. And uh, this, I think, has always been the case with certain forms of internet activism. In 1999, Indie Media, which was a very, very popular citizen journalism website, was very much rooted on the internet but had very strong ties with social movements. And so it's part of that kind of lineage in certain ways. I think another way also to look at the significance of Anonymous beyond internet activism, and this only became apparent when I started to meet people from Anonymous, some of whom could meet me because they weren't breaking the law and others because they had been arrested and I could meet them after they had been arrested. Many of the participants also engage in activism outside of the internet. Um, and so Anonymous, I think, is interesting. I've described it before as the gateway drug uh, towards other forms of activism. So for many, not all, but a number of participants, it's their first entryway into activism. And it is a wonderful space for online protest. Uh, but many others then start to engage, let's just say, in policy NGOs or developing encryption software. And so in that sense, Anonymous is also a little kind of internet factory for the creation of activists who work both offline and online.